I hope this works, but you know, masks are scarce today. They are nowhere to be found. So, um, so if you're having problems finding a mask, this is what I saw on social media. I saw some woman take a sock and she made a sock into a mask and she did it very, very quickly. It was actually pretty good. But somebody else showed me this with these boxer shorts that are just like this. Um, make sure that they're clean. These, this, is, this pair actually, I have a, I have, I have a, I had a whole package in my drawer, never opened. They were too small, I couldn't fit them, fit in them. My son didn't want them, I bought them for my son, he didn't want them. We were cleaning out the other stairs and I found a whole bunch of these, never been used. So that's why I grabbed these. But again, like the first thing you have to do is, any skid marks, no skid marks. So, and then what they did was they put them on their face like this. And then they took the other half and wrapped it around on their head to stop the dust from getting in their hair. And I thought, wow, that worked really good. And as soon as I put glasses on, I'm the invisible man. <laughs> so, hey, this is a way to make a mask very, very quickly. So I uh, saw somebody else do a mask. <laughs> They had a thong. They put a thong on. But you know, I for years I always took my uh, took my shirt when I w was in better shape, and I wrapped it around my hair so I wouldn't get dust all on my hair. But this does them both. gives me my gives me my mask, protects, gets the keeps the dust out of my hair. So it works very well. This is a, a great idea because again, I'm not going to find masks. These were my masks. These are the masks that I have. These are the masks that I use. They're the N95, and I've used these for years. Uh, the, I had a number of them. I had, a, I had quite a few of them, but when all of this happened, I had friends who were working. Um, they were working in uh, hospitals. They were working. They couldn't stop working. They needed masks, and they didn't have any. So when I heard that, I ended up giving those away. I, I kept a few for myself but I gave away more than I have right now, but I can use this too. So you guys have a great day. I just like to talk a minute. You know, the coronavirus is out there and a lot of people are having to stay home. There's a lot of things that are going on in people's lives right now. Money's tight with certain people. Other people, they've never had it so good. Uh, they're, they're on demand 24 seven and they have to work overtime and everything else. So. But I'd just like to say, you know, you watch the news and you watch all of the different newscasters and I am not, you know, going to go one way or the other. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of saddened. There's a time, there was a time when I was a kid where, where news journalists and newscasters, they were on the front lines. They got out there. They went on the front lines. I mean, I've watched them as a kid in war, at wartime on the front line doing what they do best and reporting the accurate news, the right news. You know, today you get out there and Channel 2 saying this, Channel 5 saying that, Channel 9 saying this, Channel 32 saying that, Channel, you know, CNN saying one thing. Uh, and then sometimes they all get in sync and they're all saying the exact same thing. Everybody's saying the exact same thing at the exact same time. And nobody's questioning it, guys. Nobody's questioning it at all. And that's sad. That's very, very sad. You know, they uh, today I think newscasters are just trying to be rock stars or movie stars. You know, when I was a kid too, you would have never seen somebody who's broadcasting the news actually on a movie or a TV show. Today, it's common to see them there. They all want to be movie stars. And and it's it's sad. They need it. You know, I don't sit here and... and fake how to do drywall. I don't sit there and do that. I've been doing drywall a long, 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 long time. And, and I have been right and I have been wrong. I have done jobs. They've cracked and, and not cracked. Uh, over the years, I've learned to, to do the job better and better and better. But I'm not here trying to fake it, trying to pretend I am somebody that I am not. Um, if I am just going to sit here and read a screen and just follow these these lines and have to do it this way and do it that way and everything else. Uh, 
first of all, it would drive me crazy, but uh, I've got to prove it myself that this works, this is right, this is how it works right. Um, so I think a lot of our newscasters today, they're just reading the screen. They're just, they're just telling you what their bosses are telling them to tell you. They're just very good at reading a screen and very good at speaking the words. Okay, you're going to be a newscaster then. You're going to be, you're going to be, you know, preaching the news because you've got a good vocabulary and you know how to talk and read a screen very well. You know, I want to challenge the newscasters out there. Get on the front lines again. Get on the front lines and don't just report the news. Find it out. Hey, if you really like the videos, subscribe. And if you really, really like the videos, please just share them with somebody else. All right, you guys have a great day.